Hi, it's Alaska Granny. I decided it was a great day to go to Walmart. They're well stocked. Pretty much anything you could want is there. Right off the bat, you know you're in Alaska. There's a big pile of pilot bread. Pilot bread is an Alaskan staple. It's a hard cracker that's lightweight, really doesn't fall apart, and it doesn't have very many crumbs. So it's a great food to have because it lasts a long time, doesn't crumble away, and stays fresher far longer than other kinds of crackers. Maybe you're not familiar with the price of pilot bread, but I bet you are with other foods that you have in the stores where you are. So I'm gonna show you what some of the items that would be good for your prepper pantry and the prices that they are in Alaska. For example, the Idahoan potatoes. They're great, you only need water. If you've watched my videos, you know I love them. You can find them in a pouch, and I even saw them in cups for singles if you wanna just make like one single serving. What's interesting was the single servings of Idahoan potatoes, which are very good, were less expensive than the Walmart brand. You can also find the Hungry Jack hash brown type potatoes, and those are already dehydrated, so that might be something that you wanna add to your prepper pantry. You can see that there are some gaps on the meat aisle. There's lots of different kinds of tuna, but that may not be something that you care to eat. So if you look at the other cans of meats, there are big gaps. I was able to find a can of turkey. There was only one on the shelf, and that's the one that I chose. There was pulled pork, beef strips, kinds of roast beef, you can see different prices, corned beef, Vienna sausages, and tuna. There was no spam, but you can see they did have the Walmart brand luncheon meat, which I haven't seen any of that for quite a while. Sometimes people don't think about pickles, pickled vegetables, and different kinds of jars of olives and things, and those are nice long-term options to keep in your food storage if you don't already, simply because they will last quite a while. You can see there is soup, there are gaps, the varieties aren't that good. If you want just to have, say, beef and vegetables or chicken noodle, they did have that, but that may not be your favorite. And that's part of the problem anymore, is trying to find varieties of foods that we care to eat. Boxes of Kraft macaroni and cheese are a dollar, but you can buy a five pack for $4.75 and save a little bit of money. The single serve cups are $4.78. I think that's very expensive for macaroni and cheese. Canned vegetables are 68 cents. Artichokes are three dollars. Jars of asparagus, 342. They had a lot of Augustine Farms, which is nice. They're long-term food storage foods that'll last in your pantry for up to 25, 30 years. And you can see they had different entrees, different prices. Stroganoff for 29.42. Lasagna for 15.96 peanut butter powder for $16.98. I've not tried this peanut butter powder. I've tried the PB2 and it's really nice. It's handy to use in your recipes. Peanut butter has oil and the powdered peanut butter then doesn't go rancid. They had dehydrated vegetables, peas $17.42, corn $15.44, chopped onions for $9.43 and those are good options. You can also find a bucket of a variety of vegetables for $74. They also had a breakfast bucket of emergency food that was $75. Along with the Augustan Farms food, they had some of the Ready Wise, which used to be the Wise Food Company, and I tried those foods when they were Wise Foods Company, and I found their flavors to be far less desirable, and it's not a product that I would recommend at all. From the experience that I had, so I would steer clear of those and definitely try the Augustan Farms if you have a choice. If you look at baking supplies, canola oil is $2.84. They had big gallons of white vinegar for $3.30. The muffin mixes I love used to be a dollar, now they're a dollar twenty-four. Flour is $2.22. Sugar is two sixty eight. The Parmalat shelf stable milk, different prices depending on the type you want. What's nice is if you're in the lower forty eight and you have the Dollar Tree, you can get the Gosner milk for.
for a dollar, which is the same amount of milk. If you need fresh drinking water, pick up a gallon. It's a dollar thirty-two. And make sure you're also stocking up on things like trash bags. As usual, there are limits on what you can buy in the soap and disinfectants. It's limit one per item. Lysol, four eighty-two. Lysol wipes, four ninety. They didn't have any of the store brand wipes anymore, and for a while they had the Walmart brand and not the Lysol. Dawn dishwashing detergent is five forty-three. And you can see there are still gaps in the dishwashing detergents that go in your machine. They're still out of the ones that I like, so luckily I stocked up quite a while ago. Purex laundry detergent is nine seventeen, and they do have bleach, but you want to be very careful. If you want bleach for water purification, you need nothing with the scent. You want just plain bleach, no scents of any kind. Plus, I read recently that the low splash bleach is not approved for water purification. There's something different in it that makes it the low splash that means it's not appropriate for drinking water. They also had the little bleach tablets, which I think are great. There's 32 tablets for 327 and they make gallons of bleach. Regular bleach in the big bottles expires after about six months. You don't have that problem with the bleach tablets. Nicely, they had metal lids and rings for canning jars. They only had regular mouth size were two eighty four. That's the prices that I found at Walmart for some of the foods that you may be looking for to add to your food storage stockpile, your prepper pantry. I thought it's always interesting to compare what things cost in different places and this is what they cost right now in Walmart in Alaska. If you liked my video, I hope you'll share it with someone else you think might enjoy it. Learn more at alaskagranny.com. Please subscribe to the Alaska Granny channel.